Welcome back guys. So the most anticipated team of the year event has come. I would say it's not up to the standards we expected it to be. Nonetheless a decent event. There are a few packs and it started a few hours ago and it started with uh, like 10 hours ago it started exactly and it started with only attackers unlocked and in another say 14 hours the midfielders would be unlocked and one more day the defenders would be unlocked attackers would normally be higher rated because they are the football gods Leo Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo uh, leading the way and uh, this year's top scorer Harry Kane making it ahead of Neymar anyway all the nominees have also their special team of the year cards you couldn't get any one of these from these packs I opened a couple of packs and I all I got was uh, team of the year experience uh, which was <laughs> kind of a waste of a million uh, coins uh, okay and let's go straight in the event if you can afford the bundle then all is well but if you're free to play you cannot afford the bundle it's as simple as that i i won't be wasting any fifa points in this because it's so hard to hand them i would like to keep them and use them when it's uh, this kind of a meaningful okay so it is like a lot similar to the football freeze event you get to play two skill uh, boo skill events and third one you can choose from attacker midfielder or defender midfielder one we would unlock uh, tonight with under uh, 14 hours the defender one would unlock at last midfielder one uh, gives extra skill boost defender one would gives extra training xp and the defender one gives extra coins you have to play these and then again similar to uh, snowflakes event in the football freeze you got attackers midfielders and defenders event so you have to play these nodes you have to progress and to get these players for sure you can either you can pull them from the packs but that's uh, the chance are not that great I spend 1 million coins and a team of the year Cavani is available for less so anyway some of the team of the year players are many of those are actually going for like 1 million 1 and a half million so if we need some we can even buy from the market because the price would obviously come down uh, since there are 14 days left as uh, more people pull these cards the price would come down for sure this hurricane he doesn't look like an amazing card now but believe me guys i've seen his 100 rated card and i mean 100 without skill boost the best striker in this game he's damn overpowered in that one anyway would be a nice pick but to get him you need to spend like 78 points 14 days if you don't even properly sleep and everything then you can get uh, six points in a day because it refreshes uh, like four uh, once in four hours or so six points you can get in a day in 24 hours you can get six points and 14 days uh, not enough points it's as simple as that uh, you get like uh, 484 points uh, so you could Practically if you want if you are lacking a striker up front uh, If you like to if you're a Tottenham fan, maybe a Hurricane you would get uh, The others it will need for Cristiano Ronaldo, which I won't be going because The road to champions Cristiano Ronaldo would be easier to train, but this one has a better uh, Kill boost of course this would be a better card than that one uh, actually this is an amazing card to be frank but again you need like 147 of these attacker points for 
ക്രിസ്റ്റ്യൻ റൊണാൾഡോ ഈവൻ ഇഫ് യു സ്പെൻഡ് ഓൾ യുവർ എനർജി ഓൺ അറ്റാക്കേഴ്സ് ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഷുവർ ഹൗ ഈസി ഇറ്റ് വുഡ് ബി മേ ബി പോസിബിൾ ബട്ട് ഓൺലി ഇഫ് യു ഗ്രൈൻഡ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് മച്ച് ലിയോ മെസി അഗെയിൻ എൻ അമേസിംഗ് കാർഡ് but you need like 190 points for leo messi and the extra boost you get these matches uh, once you play these notes there are these extra matches that has a uh, decent amount of skill boost and it gives you an increased chance of an attacker nominee so you get like 3 4 you get to play five matches which means and with an increase chance i'm pretty sure all of us would pull at least one team of the year attacker but it already requires us to have one team of the year attacker to play this so it is like we will have to buy somebody from the market maybe or get pull uh, pull somebody either one you have to do to play these matches they those are tradable cards so uh it's all is good this one is uh not auctionable yet will be become auctionable once this event is over so that's fine with, with me anyway uh so that's it from this attackers midfielders are not unlocked yet but because they don't show you their points and all like uh, these which players are coming because in fifa ultimate team they are going to be released tonight only but you can see that they cost a lot less than the attackers so the overall would ob- also be obviously lesser we can expect lesser overall as well <coughs> maybe around 90 90 okay so dif- midfielders would cost lesser a little bit other than that everything is similar for them midfielders would be giving okay midfielders would be giving tra- uh, training xp just like the attackers were giving the notes were giving extra okay let's go to this note the extra option is uh, of training xp for the attacker it was uh, 2.5k skill boost and for the defenders it is extra coins and some massive Seven and a half million guys. So if you could practically level up some a couple of players with this that's this is amazing uh, and To get the defender you need like uh, 50 points where it was 78 to get Harry Kane But the defender is about 50 only so practically if we Grind the defenders one you could get a defender a team of the year defender getting and Uh, seven and a half million coins and plenty of coins on the way as well so that's a decent one for me and getting one team of the year there's a rewards for completing different notes and all team of the year bonus points and all, all. And having uh, another two and a half million that would be like 10 million coins would be amazing and one team of the year starting eleven player in your lineup would give you uh one the 1k skill boost three would give you 1 million but three is uh, it's not that easy if you're free to play out say but let us see uh, because i'm not sure of the drop yet drop right yet but these ones uh, you have to be paid to play of course uh one ten overall team with seven team of the years to get a 797 overall mystery player and 98 would require 115 overall uh, team with all team of the year starting alone place so what am i going to do i'm going to play uh, this event once in 4 hours for a couple of days and when the defenders one unlocks because this requires two energy and like there is one energy requirement was there in the freeze and this one requires two energy so we need to be a little smarter with energy i'm pretty sure that i don't i'm pretty sure that i won't be getting uh, much from the attackers one uh, 
there is a couple of other re- or reasons as well why i am going for that because it teams it all depends on what you actually require this is my squad i don't really require a team of the year player none of the team of the year players are going to make my team any better because their overall is a lot lesser than we anticipated so for me is about the either coins or skill boost again skill boost mostly it's plus 10 so to Im- have an increase in that to get it to plus 11 it won't be easy it's gonna take a lot more effort to do that so for me the best option would be the coins uh, 10 million coins that could actually let me train a few of my players which would be better for me it all depends at the end of the day guys go for what you guys require if you guys really require a 90 overall striker then you can go for harry kane which is a pretty good one at that if you train him he is one of the best in the game probably the best striker uh, seeing his stats at level 100 he's amazing if you guys or oh, if you guys want a left back or right back if you're going playing four at the back then wait for the defenders if you want like center midfielders then you can uh, play for the midfielders one so it all depends on what players you need as well whichever you need grind on that my advice would be don't play every event like one attacker one one midfielder one it won't be if you're free to play focus on one either attacker event or midfielder or the defender i have chosen the defender for obvious reasons that it's a lot easier to complete the defender lane the nodes because it takes a lot lesser the requirement is a lot lesser uh, 50 points compared to the 70 50 points for the uh, least overall defender here he would be compared to the 78 for kane obviously this is a lot easier to complete from the extra 1k skill boost and this then i could get this amazing amount of coins as this is huge guys seven and a half million coins is pretty huge that would be an amazing way to do these things if you guys require uh, the midfielder one gives training xp which is uh, which is important but it's useless without the coins if you have enough coins backed up maybe the midfielder otherwise uh, if you have less skill boost then i guess would be a nice way because the skill boost could especially if you're free to play getting to say plus 10 skill boost isn't too hard Plus 9 would be easy, plus 10 uh, would require a little bit of work, but that is possible. But more than that, plus 11, plus 12 is a little bit more difficult. Okay, we may not do get to do that in this one, but at least in the next events, if you focus on that, you could get that as well. But for me, at the moment, seeing all these requirements, their overalls and all the requirements and how much coins you could get, I'm going to wait for a couple of days. I'm going to watch ads as much as possible and... I'm going to get the defender and the coins and I'm going to improve my team. That's what I'm going to do guys. So you guys should consider all these things. Always remember one thing. Choose only one lane guys. Either attackers, midfielders or defenders. Don't go for both. Any one of these. Then grind as much as you can. And guys, hopefully you all find some black as well. Bye bye guys. That's it from me. If you have any doubts, ask me in the comments. Bye bye.